you might have heard the word multiverse in movies. They say there is more than one universe, and as a matter of fact, some people actually believe it. Our universe may not be the only one out there. In fact, our universe may be one of an infinite number of universes that comprise a multiverse. Though the concept may defy logic, it is supported by sound physics. And there isn't just one way to get a multiverse, so many physics theories point in the same direction. Hello and welcome to Tipsy Alien, where we discuss the most mind-blowing facts about aliens, extraterrestrial life, and space exploration. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss future updates. Let's discuss some reasons that explain the multiverse theory without further ado. Number 1. Infinite Universes Scientists are unsure of the shape of space-time, but it's most likely flat and infinitely long. However, if space-time continues indefinitely, it must begin to repeat at some point because there are a finite number of ways particles can be arranged in space and time. So if you look far enough, you'll find another version of yourself, infinite versions of yourself. Some of these twins will be doing exactly what you're doing right now, while others would have worn a different sweater this morning and made vastly different career and life choices. Because the observable universe only extends as far as light has had a chance to travel in the 13.7 billion years since the Big Bang, space-time beyond that distance can be considered as its separate universe. In this way, many universes coexist in a massive patchwork quilt of universes. Around 2010, scientists such as Stephen M. Feeney claimed to have discovered evidence that this observable universe collided with other universes in the distant past by analyzing Wilkinson microwave anisotropy probe data. A more thorough examination of data from WMAP and the Planck satellite, which has a resolution three times that of WMAP, revealed no statistically significant evidence of such a bubble universe collision. Furthermore, there was no evidence of other universes' gravitational pull on ours. Number 2. Bubble Universes Other universes could emerge from a theory known as eternal inflation, in addition to the multiple universes created by infinitely extending space-time. The idea that the universe expanded rapidly after the Big Bang, inflating like a balloon, is known as inflation. Tufts University cosmologist Alexander Valenkin proposes that some regions of space stopped inflating while others continued to inflate, resulting in a plethora of isolated bubble universes. Thus, where inflation has stopped, allowing stars and galaxies to form, our universe is merely a small bubble in a vast sea of space, some of which is still inflating and contains many other bubbles like ours and the laws of physics and fundamental constants in some of these bubble universes may differ from ours, making some universes strange places. The energy of space itself is what distinguishes bubble universes from their surroundings. A true vacuum state exists when space is as empty as possible and cannot possibly lose any more energy. Consider a ball lying on the ground. It cannot fall any further. However, systems can have false vacuum states. Consider a table with a ball in a bowl. The ball can move around a little while remaining mostly stationary. However, a strong enough jolt will knock it to the floor in a true vacuum. Number 3. Parallel Universes String theory also gives rise to the concept of brain worlds, or parallel universes that exist just beyond our own, as proposed by Princeton University's Paul Steinhardt and Neil Turok of the Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics in Ontario, Canada. The concept stems from the possibility of our world having many more dimensions than the three of space and one of time that we are familiar with. Other three-dimensional brains may float in a higher dimensional space in addition to our own three-dimensional brain of space. In his book The Hidden Reality, Columbia University physicist Brian Greene describes the idea as our universe is one of potentially numerous slabs floating in a higher dimensional space, much like a slice of bread within a grander cosmic loaf. Another twist to this theory holds that these brain universes aren't always parallel and out of reach. They may collide at times, resulting in repeated big bangs that reset the universes over and over. Technically, alternative histories as a result of time travel are not parallel universes. While multiple parallel universes can coexist at the same time, only one history or alternative history can exist at any given time, because alternative history usually involves, in essence, replacing the original timeline with a new one. As a result, traveling between alternate histories is impossible unless the timeline is reset to the original. Number 4. Daughter Universes The quantum mechanics theory, which governs the tiny world of subatomic particles, suggests another way multiple universes could emerge. Quantum mechanics describes the world in terms of probabilities rather than definite outcomes. 
and the mathematics of this theory may imply that all possible outcomes of a situation do occur, albeit in their own universes. For example, if you come to a crossroads and have the option of going right or left, the current universe generates two daughter universes, one in which you go right and one in which you go left. And in each universe, there's a copy of you witnessing one or the other outcome, thinking incorrectly that your reality is the only reality, Green wrote in The Hidden Reality. Stephen Hawking and Roger Penrose observed in the 1960s that this collapse is similar to a mini Big Bang in reverse. This led Smolin to believe that a black hole could erupt into a Big Bang, spawning an entirely new universe. If this is the case, the new universe may have slightly different physical properties than the one that created the black hole. This is analogous to the random genetic mutations that cause baby organisms to differ from their parents. Number 5. Mathematical Universes Scientists have debated whether mathematics is simply a tool for describing the universe, or whether math is the fundamental reality, and our observations of it are just imperfect perceptions of its true mathematical nature. If the latter is true, our universe's particular mathematical structure isn't the only option, and all possible mathematical structures exist as separate universes. A mathematical structure is something you can describe in a way that is completely independent of human baggage, explained MIT's Max Tegmark, who proposed this mind-bending idea. I truly believe there is a universe out there that can exist independently of me and would continue to exist even if humans didn't exist. According to mathematician Stoger Ellison Kircher in A True Multiverse Theory, the universes are then completely disjoint and nothing that happens in one is casually linked to anything that happens in another. Because such multiverses lack any casual connection, they are scientifically unsupportable. Ellis specifically criticized MUH, claiming that an infinite ensemble of completely disconnected universes is completely untestable, despite hopeful remarks occasionally made, see for example Tegmark. Tegmark maintains that MUH is testable, predicting that a Physics research will uncover mathematical regularities in nature. B. By assuming that we occupy a typical member of the multiverse of mathematical structures, one could start testing multiverse predictions by assessing how typical our universe is. The MUH is founded on the radical Platonist belief that mathematics is an external reality. Gil Janus, a German mathematician on the other hand, contends that mathematics is at least in part a human construction, arguing that if it is an external reality, it should be found in other animals as well. Tegmark argues that if we want to give a complete description of reality, then we would need a language independent of humans, understandable for non-human sentient entities such as aliens and future supercomputers. There may be universes out there that have creatures looking like us but are way too advanced. Until we have a scientific reason to believe that multiverse is real, nothing can be said for sure. Do any of you believe in multiverse theory? Let us know in the comments section. If you found the video interesting, here are two more videos you'll probably like. That's all for today. Please leave a like on the video and share it with your family and friends.